What's going on guys, Vigby back with another Game Case Arcades video. A little bit of a different scenario right now going on, but real quick, we're gonna check out the newest kind of edition that I'm testing out. That is the Mini NES Party Edition with four wireless SNES controllers. So I'm at my place of work right now and I figure, you know what, why not make a quick video? It's been a while, been pretty busy and uh, basically, Basically, I just got my first person that's gonna pick up the Mini NES Killer uh, with wireless controllers. A lot of people have been asking for wireless controllers. The issue with wireless controllers is that they are pretty expensive. Um, if you get the real 8 bit like controllers, they're like 40 bucks for one controller. So uh, this customer right here is going in by Carlos, actually a very close friend of mine. So Carlos is gonna be trying out, really testing out this one for me, um, giving him four wireless controllers Again, we're using a Raspberry Pi 3 on this one. The four player edition, so we're talking four player arcade, four player N64, and again, the biggest thing is that we do have wireless controllers going out on this one. Uh, on the Amazon reviews on this, I could post a link to it. It's 35 to 40 bucks for both controllers, which is a pretty good deal in all honesty, but some of the reviews on it aren't that great. Some people are saying that after about a day, uh, after about a week, um, control is dying so I'm not too sure he's gonna be my close friend of mine that's gonna test it for me and let me know how it is basically we're gonna unbox it and we're just gonna hang out and we're gonna play a little bit of it the reason I'm doing it on the catering right now is because I this is a real quiet area and I do have a TV right behind us so we're gonna be able to load it up and you know put it right onto the TV and all that anytime you do get it you do get a little bit of a thank you for purchasing a little bit of a tutorial of how the joysticks work and how the controllers work in game. We have basically our mini NES inside of here. We got our power brick and we have our two, well really four, two sets for wireless SNES controllers. Take a look real quick. This is how you will get it if we do the wireless one. I do keep the USB receivers inside of this. As you can see, you can no longer close um, the box, but Pretty basic, pretty easy. Again, all four wireless receivers. That does mean I don't suggest that you do take these out. Basically then that means that you have to put in an external power supply just to power it on. Let's get this loaded up. We're gonna plug this in and we're gonna put it to that TV. Basically got this TV set up right now. We got our TV set up. I have all, it's gonna be hard to do this alone, but I have basically all four SNES joysticks. I have this kind of far. I think it's about, I would say, a good maybe 20 feet. I could show you where it is right now, but basically our controllers, I do have them labeled. So this is controller one. Basically, all I gotta do is I gotta press the start button. That's gonna wake it up and then it should work. Just like that. So this is all set. Again, each controller has a marking on it. Basically says what it is. I don't have these really charged, but real quick, let's just try to load up some. We're gonna do a four player game on it. Again, we're gonna try to just press the start button. As you can see, I'm gonna press the start button. Red light turns on. These are set to turn off after about a minute. Player one is always the one that will control everything. So we're gonna go into arcade. We're gonna go into MAM. And again, I'm going to, I have my shoulder buttons right here to skip the letter. So we're gonna go to QRS, we're gonna load up the Simpsons. S, T, T, A, T, B. We're gonna go to the Simpsons. Again, I have this set to four player. Four player Simpsons on this. T, Q, R, S. There's my Simpsons, we're gonna press enter on it. I have the TV low. Again, this is set to stretch, 16 by nine stretch on this. So this will be full screen. This TV right here, I think it's about, I'm not sure. Maybe it's like a 55 inch TV, 60 inch. Again, after about a minute, the controller does wear like shut off. So I'm gonna put a coin, player one. This is player three, that's Bart. We got player four, this should boot up Lisa. We got player two. That's gonna load up Homer. We're gonna press start on all these. I haven't, I haven't charged these, honestly. These haven't been charged ever since I opened them. So, charging port on the top. 
Okay, we have four player action going on in this one right now. Simpsons stretch, 16 by nine stretch. And as you can see, I'm able, I'm player one, I'm able to control Marge. Player two. We got player four, that should be Lisa. That's a double team. I got hit. This should control Bart. We're in double team mode. Basically right now again on player one, start and select is gonna exit it. Uh, when I was playing yesterday was WrestleFest. So again, player one will always control your menu. TUV. You should be able to go to WrestleFest. It's up. WrestleFest was a four player game, so we're gonna load that up. Again, four player mod on this one. First time using wireless controls and I'm pretty shocked at how far I am. I'm very far. If I take the camera right now, my pie is right behind this, so I mean, I have ceiling tiles here. There's about maybe a good 12 ceiling tiles. So I'm gonna show you real quick where I have the pie set up right now. Check this out right here. Again, this is my catering hall. So we have this set up for my video part of it. Right here. I'm all the way from here to there. I mean, we're talking about a good 20 feet at least. And I'm able to actually play this right now. I'm gonna keep it low. Basically, again, there's some arcade games that the keep in mind is are some arcade games that are only like coin one will take the coin. So I'm going to load up coins on player one. I'm going to press start. We're going to do battle royale. And now basically if I press start on all of my controllers. So we have four, we have three. Let me get my three on. There's my third player. I was pressing select. I'm going to press player two start. And now I'm here. So now we literally have four player wrestle fest going on but remember i used player one coin so the player two to four the coin won't work in this specific game because it's only needs coin slot one so it was pretty cool it's pretty difficult to show you four player wrestle fest but it gets pretty intense and again four player arcade 16 by 9 stretch screen this is a full screen so right now if i'm if i'm kind of far if i'm close up you do see the pixels but if i go far this is amazing. This is perfect. I don't even know who I am. We have player one, player two. I'm moving player one right now. Who do I got? I should really... Player two. I'm getting my butt kicked. Get up. Again, we simply have right on the back, I just put the number in. Don't want to mess up the beauty of it. It's a pretty light controller. I'll, again, I'm going to post a link to it. But basically right now, again, if I wanted to exit, we just start and select on player one.